Well, what's going on, everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, look what I have here on the RC workstation. The HC6 from Cross RC. This is a 112th scale 6x6 off-road military truck from Cross RC. This is one of my most favorite off-road military vehicles other than the Humvees. I really love these type of trucks. They call them the Deuce or the Deuce and a half, two-ton, five-ton trucks. They are just super awesome trucks. Now I've been looking at this truck for roughly about two years and I decided I really wanted to get this truck and so I went ahead and got it. So like I said, it's the 12th scale electric off-road uh, truck. Comes with the two-speed transmission along with a lot of different parts in there, a lot of scale parts. This is gonna be a full-on epic build, my first ever uh, cross RC vehicle and first full-on fledge build. So let's go ahead and break open the box and talk about all the parts inside. All right, let's, let's break the lid off of here. Now on the side, it shows you all the stuff that comes with it. There's a lot of stuff. It has the LED light kit. Uh, it has the leaf spring uh, suspension, also running on shocks as well. It has wheels and tires, 1.9 uh, beadlock wheels, uh, the drive system, which is a 6x6. Uh, all new scale truck accessories to really bring this thing out. Uh, we've got a decal, uh, detail uh, uh, body cab, which is made of ABS plastic. Uh, interior parts as well. It's got a two-speed transmission, which I absolutely love the two-speed transmission. Uh, a lot of people really don't like them. I do. I feel with the two-speed, I have more controllability over the vehicle and over the throttle, so I just really like it. Uh, next thing is a 45 turn brush uh, cross RC motor. It has uh, the axles which are all metal cast rigid axle housing, hardened steel axle shafts and heavy duty metal gears. It's got an all metal uh, transferred, has eight bearing hardened steel gears uh, cast uh, housing. Also has the battery box there. All metal drive shafts and a cool little scale winch and there's a lot more stuff but we're going to go through it so throw it to the side so here it is packaged nice and well and pretty heavy my friends uh, I think the shipping label said about 11 pounds so massive truck my friends very massive very heavy so first off is the manual for this thing it also includes some uh, some stickers which is pretty cool and it's got me across 8x8, uh, cross RC for drive, uh, cross RC, C, just a lot of cool little decals if you want to put them on there, which I'm not. <laughs> so take a look at the instruction book. It's not like we've never seen before, but very detailed on what you need to do. It actually tells you to adjust the backslash with the slim. slim. Uh, pretty awesome leaf springs. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five on one side and five on the other side. Uh, of course, we've got the rear and stuff like that. So, gonna be something. This is my second leaf spring truck. So, that's the manual. We're setting that to the side. Here is the railing system. This is the chassis of it, the railing system. 23 inches long. As you can see, that's pretty long. About the length of my arm almost. So from from my fingertip to half of my shoulder. Pretty long. So yeah. The TF2, which is the trail finder 2, is about 17 and a half so long. So kind of gives you an idea exactly how long this truck is. So about as long as the box. So <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll set that to the side. So we got three parts here. Looks like the uh, gas tanks, a lot of the scale details. Um, we got the smokestack, the breathers, uh, a lot of other stuff I really don't know. I haven't gone through it all yet, but that looks like a lot of detailed parts. So we'll set that to the side. Next thing is the wheels. These are 1.93 piece beadlock steel wheels and these things are heavy they all get out heavy so that's gonna be something to put together <laughs> wow all right so we'll set that to the side as well all right so let's take a look at the monster thing here 
the two-speed transmission. Look at this, my friends. Look how big. This is my hand, and that's about almost the size of my fist. Crazy. So let's go ahead and take it out of the bag and get a good old look at it. Look at this, my friends. Holy crap. Huge. There's the two-speed shifter right there. It's got a 45-turn cross RC brush motor. Already has the leads uh, welded on. Uh, soldered on and everything pretty massive big look I'm, I'm just like blown away with how big this transmission is I've never had a transmission like that huge before so that is going to be crazy so let's set that to the side <laughs> I know I've been saying that a lot but yeah all right we got our drive shafts here three piece drive shafts uh, it's, it's even got a label B1 A1 yeah, B, yeah, 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 all right, so yeah, we got that, the next thing is the transfer case, here you see, transfer case, all right, that's it, ah, let's see, we got another bag of goods here, uh, look, we got a lot of things in here, actually, I'm not going to take everything out, because I, I want to, really go through it all but look at this there's the bumper for it all metal here pretty nice <laughs> uh, see we got leaf springs there we even got the light kit I thought the light kit would not come with this but it actually does so that's cool so we'll set that to the side next we have our tires these are uh, the 1.9 Cross RC military tires. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Let's see if we can get you good lighting there. Nice. It has the foam inside of it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. As seven going to be the spare for the for the truck. All right. Let's see next thing got what it's called the planking this is for the bed actually because you have to build the bed that's the part that's going to be crazy on this right here is building the bed uh, so that's crazy 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 a lot of gluing a lot of piecing it together timing prepping all that so yeah that's going to be something else all right let's take a look at the axles we have one two three these are the cross RC metal axles heavy duty bell gears really really nice so this looks like to be the rear that's the front and this is the metal let's go ahead and take one out and just kind of take a look at it all right made for cross RC scaled off-road model series look at this Machine metal. I think CNC machine. Pretty nice. All metal. And that is crazy, my friends. This is crazy. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> so they're pretty heavy as well. So having three of those, it's gonna put a lot of weight on this truck. So uh, now I can only guess what's in the white box. What's in the white box? You may say. I'm thinking it's going to be the body shell. Look at that, my friends. Hard shell body, ABS plastic, super detailed. As you see, there's a lot of little holes on there where all the scale items go. Even has the interior as well. Seats in there. This is going to be fun project to put together oh my god <laughs> so like i said before this is going to be my first full on scale build i've never done anything like this this is my first vehicle from cross rc uh so yeah <laughs> this is going to be something else uh it's going to be something else that's all i can say my friends it's going to be an epic build i told you my friends that I was going to bring an epic build to the channel. And this is an epic build to the channel, my friends. The Cross RC6. 
Cross RC HC6. <laughs> well, my friends, the phone always goes off when I'm filming. Never when I uh, <laughs> am, uh, never when I'm not doing anything will the phone not ring. Or hand, I said that right. Only the phone will ring when I'm filming, but when I'm not filming, the phone never rings. So, yeah. But, uh, like I said, it's going to be an epic build. I hope that y'all tune in with me and watch this build series as I build it. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to take a lot of time, a lot of work to do this. Uh, so, yeah. So, I hope that y'all stay tuned on this build project. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe right now. Uh, also, like this video and click the notification bell. That way you know uh, when I'm uploading a new video. Now, the way I'm going to film this video is that I'm going to do like the TF2, which is the Trail Finder 2 from RC4 Drive. Uh, I did update uh, videos on it. As I built the chassis, I've done an update. As I built the motor and transmission, I did an update. As I did the shocks, the leaf springs, um, the wheels and tires, I did it all in updates. So that's what I'm going to do with this build right here. Now talk about electronics because the kit does not come with electronics. It comes with the motor, which is nice, but it doesn't come with the servos, which uh, requires two servos. Uh, also requires an ESC as well and a receiver. So all that you have to supply. Now I'm still at the point of looking at different servos and ESCs right now. I really haven't picked out what I'm going to go with right now because I right now just seeing the build uh, it's going to take me a little time to do that uh, but once I do you guys will know what uh, what electronics I'm going to go with now as far as paint wise a lot of people have been asking me that question a lot of my friends who have known about the build have asked me what color are you going to paint Chris what what color are you going to go with what theme are you going to go with since it's a military truck are you going to go with the military theme I was like, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm kind of like looking around and seeing like pictures of the real deuces and the military trucks and kind of getting an idea. I was like, you know, do I want to go with additional armor color? Do I want to go with the sand color? Do I want to go with camo? Uh, what do I want to go with? I'm not exactly sure yet. That's still up in the air. So once I do figure out what I want to do, you guys will know because I'll do a video on it. So yeah. Now, the reason why I bought this truck, not only that I like this truck, but I also wanted something to celebrate my nine years of being in the RC community. Uh, actually, April of 2010, I joined up with the RC world, not knowing the first thing about this world, not knowing anything about the, the hobby grade RCs. As a small kid, I, was always, I always had RCs, but I never had a hobby grade RC. I always had RCs from like Radio Shack, Toys R Us, Walmart, and stuff like that. And so for my nine years, I wanted to get myself a really super awesome uh, beast and that was my choice so nine years of being in this uh, in this hobby and nine years of being here on YouTube it's crazy I've never had a job for nine years and this is not really a job it's a hobby but I have I enjoy a lot I have a lot of fun doing this hobby and I thank everyone out there for taking their time to watching my videos and commenting and sharing and liking I'd really do appreciate it I appreciate everybody supporting me in my hobby I really do uh, my dad is one of my biggest supporter in my hobby of RC's and he loves me doing it he's like as long as it keeps you out of trouble and you're not causing mayhem do it and I was like yeah thanks dad I will <laughs> uh, that's another thing my dad is going to be helping me with the build so that's why I'm not going to be filming a lot of it on camera because he's going to be helping me plus uh, I want to give my 100% 100% or yeah 100% <laughs> focus to the build because this is my first vehicle from Cross RC and first full on fledged build that I'm ever going to be doing so uh, so I want to put my focus there so that's why I said I'm going to be doing updates so yeah so celebrating my nine years of being here on YouTube and being here in the RC world uh, this is an adventure every time I go out and RC and it's just a lot of fun Plus, I got a really cool skill course back in my backyard to run this truck on and to run all my other vehicles. All right, my friends. So, like I said, I hope you all stay tuned on this build. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when I'm uploading a new video. And uh, so, yeah. 
Well, my friends, I will see y'all in the next upcoming build video of the HC6 from Cross RC. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.